Round number two of the Centauri Solo Tech Tournament is about to get underway. Round number one, lap, map, map number one is going to be Exposito. The map order is as follows. Exposito, Pretpal, no, featuring Zykos, Aftermath featuring Beat, Road Trippin' and Cosmicro. So, first map is going to be Exposito by Mas. Local record held here by Masa with a 51.267. So here, left right here to uh, get the no to get the no jump right here. Really nice tight line by pack right here through CP one and two, then CP three right here. Nicely done on the drift. Then we go onto CP four, then onto the blue part. Go for a slightly late apex right here to get the most out of the exit and avoid touching the wall on the inside like some people are currently getting. Keep mid side of the road for grip right here. Then onto CP seven. We're about to get CP six currently here. There we go. Here we go. Outside uh, inside pull right here. Then we go here. Around the outside of the pole as we are about to cross CP8 and then going towards the inside of the pole right here for the best trajectory and then turn right towards the first make sure not to hit uh, to clip the uh, wall on the inside really nice neat and tidy line by pack going really wide on the exit though use the downhill to start the drift and then round all the way through the U-turn to get back onto the finish line so good luck and have fun everybody here we go for round number two of the Centauri Solotech Tournament. And we are going to be spectating Pac, 2016 World Champion. So, Pac currently in the thick of the field in 36th place after the whole shot in CP1, who has gotten by Tonk, who still remains in the lead after the CP2, but here we see a lot of other people emerging into the lead battle. We've got uh, Razi in first place, Sky second, and Tween third. Tween still remaining into the thick of the action right here, and still trying to make some inroads on the leader. Currently, Magorium, Danny B, and Pac in 1, 2, 3. Tween in the uh, battle for P4 right now. Watch out for Magorian. He's we know that he's capable of putting some sick times right here. Was able to let out against Pack right here. And Danny B also in the mix as well. Meanwhile, Tween is also is having a little bit of trouble to get himself into the top. And that will surely not help matters anymore. Since Tween got touched the inside wall. Meanwhile, Magorian in first place, Pack second, Razi in third place. Razi from Team MM is actually looking pretty good right here. Will he be able to overtake some people? No. It would be Magor Nero actually clinching the round in the end with a 51.512 one hundredth between first and third place Nero, Pack, Magorium, Mixmoth, Super Kalu, Frazi, Danik, B and Sky complete your top 8 and Nero will draw first blood with 500 points CS credit So we're currently spectating Razi who managed to get himself into P6 as the result of uh, round number one. Here we go for round number two. CP3 passed and Razi is not really looking good. Currently getting even uh, left behind by the rest of the pack currently in P38 in the, uh, at the moment. Meanwhile, it is Hugo de Sauvain and Magorian battling it out for the people. We also got Shoka in the mix along with Pack, Hugo de Sauvain, Danik B, Magorian, Nero, and Sky. The, ba the, the battle is still really raging. Everyone still remaining really fairly grouped up, nice and needy. Uh, nice and tidy here. Shoka battling out with Danny B for the lead. Even Magorian, Neuro, and Hugo de Soma are in the mix. Magorian emerging in the lead temporarily, but Shoka with a really nice inside line gets uh, back towards the uh, Polish driver from Team Elementaries. Will he be able to overtake him towards the final corner? Danny B potentially making something happen. Shoka emerging in front of Magorian, and he will get the round win for 5,000 for 15,000 of a second. Sorry. Shoka first with a 51.453. Magorian second, Danny B third, Pack four, Super Kalu fifth. Nero 6th, Ringo 7th, and Flyer 8th. So, Magorian uh, now emerging in the lead. Nero in 2nd place, just 10 points behind the Polish driver from Team Elementaries. Pack in 3rd place, equal points with Nero. 10 seconds into round number 3, it is Scooper who gets the whole shot, but here Magorian, Razi, and Nero are looking really good indeed. Energize getting a little bit squarely and he will be out of the pictures directly here after the really dodgy line through that corner. Meanwhile, the 2006 World Champion Cal is currently looking somewhat okay-ish. Remaining in the top 10 right now, remaining into that swarm 
of the top places. Flyer battling it out with Neuro and Tween for the lead right now. This Flyer downing the end. Tween for one, two, three. Tween getting really nice lines here, right here. And he gets into the lead temporarily, albeit with Danik B waiting to pounce, piling on the pressure on the Slovakian player from Pittsburgh Knights. Going a little bit wide is Danny B right here. Onto the final corner we go. Tween will win this round with a time of 51.468. Even though it was looking a little bit squirrely towards the end of that track. Tween first, Danik B second, extra third, Flyer fourth. Carl, Sky, Shoka, and Mix Mode in the top eight. And with that, Tween will still... No, nah, he's not even in the top 10. He's only with 1,000 points in 12th place. So yeah, with the first two rounds that were actually really uh, shockingly poor in terms of point scoring for Tween, he's going to have a lot of work to do to get back up into the, lead, uh, into the front field. Meanwhile, it seems as though he's doing just that on round number four. He's uh, leading Extra, Magorian, Shocker, and Pack. And he's got really good lines going on uh, lines going on right here. McGorin still in th second place, extra third. And we got Hugo de Salvac joining the fray this time around in fourth place. Magoria, Tween, and Pac on one, two, and three. Currently battling it out for some really valid positions here. Pack almost quicker than everyone else. He will eat both of them outright. And he's currently holding the lead, slowly but steady, going towards the round win here on round number four. McGorn with a really aggressive line, he's a little bit too wide. Does Pack is able to conserve that momentum a little bit more? Tween able to do something? No. Pack will win in front of Tween. Pack with a 51.440 to boot. Pack first, Tween second, Magorian third, Flyer fourth, Extra, Nero, Mix One, and Razi in top eight. Blue Dice with a little bit of a figure right here. A little bit of a um, stunt right here towards the end of the race. And yeah, four rounds have been played on the very first map. And thus, we are getting onto map number two, which is going to be Pretpal by Solia and Zykos. World record here, well, we're record. Local record on this server is Masas with a 49.655. Tween is the... He's the second uh, best uh, local record with a 49.691 and the fastest player on this server in terms of the local records. Four rounds in, quick recap of the scores for the top 10. Carl in first place, the 2006 world champion, in first place with 1700 points. Then we got Extra second with 1675, Pack third with 1625, Neuro fourth with 1600, Magorian fifth with 1590, Fire sixth with 1575, Dynamic B seventh with 1510, Razi eighth with 1485, Tween nine with 1475, and Mixmo tenth with 1445. Then we got, um, yeah, top 20, Jespen, Shoka, Sakai, Ben, Ted, Tristan, Vivek, Themes, Broly, and Ringoa. So far, outside the top 32, the first man to be eliminated potentially could be Techers, alongside Buzi, Nova, Zettings, Teens, Wolf, Flex, Space, and Bulmeet, among others. So, yeah, we're heading into map number 2 with the end of the warm-up coming here. Extra, yeah, that's a bit of a new, uh, that's a bit of a new name for me as well. I will not, I will uh, be totally honest with you guys. It's someone that I don't really know. If you guys are know, actually, actually know him and uh, could be um, you know, educating me. Hello, Silver. Hello, Maui. Hope you're doing good. Mostly has played Team NF. Okay, fair enough. Map two underway. Round number five of this race. Spectating Estra, just as we talked about him, and he's currently getting the whole shot of the CP1, battling it out with Pack here for first place. Pack currently emerging in the lead right here on uh, this particular track, although Mixmud and Shoka are having something to say about it. Even Flyer gets into the uh, argument right here and emerges in the lead in front of Pack and Danny B. Pack and Tween now into uh, first and second. Flyer third, Tween able to emerge in the lead. Pack still remaining in the in his uh, ambuscade. Oh, that's an F for Tween right there. That was huge. That was a huge stop pick from the Slovakian driver. So Pack inherits the lead in front of Sky and Magorian. Magorian getting overtaken by Hugo de Sova and Tristan. Tristan in P4, Hugo de Sova in P3. Tristan no longer in P4, he's in P5, and even though right now Magorian in P4 will be able to overtake uh, Hugo, Hugo overtaking Sky, and Pack will win with a 50.034. Pack first, Hugo second, Sky third, Magorian fourth, extra Carl, Razi, and Mixmon in eighth. You might die before the end of the day? Nah, I've done worse than this. I've done full speed for six hours straight. What do you mean? So, round number two underway now. We're currently spectating Magorian from Team Elementaries. He got himself in fourth place after CP number one. It's Hugo de Sova who got the whole shot after the CP. 
even though we currently have uh, still a bit of a bunch of leading of uh, changing leading in the field right now. This sky versus Sweep for the lead with Pack and Danik beginning into the mix as well. We got Flyer in fifth place, Rangoa six, Magorin and Shoka complete the top eight so far. And uh, we currently see that Tween is still able to dock it next. And he touches the wall again. This time it's not a stopping, but it's enough to do damage. And thus it is Pack, Danik, B, and Flyer in one, two, and three. We got Ringoa in P4, and Flyer touches the inside of the wall. That's going to be the death. For, um, for Flyer. Meanwhile, Danny B in pack in first and second. Danny B emerging in lead in fact, going really out wide, touching the wall. That's the death of Danny B right there. Ringo up potentially making something. Hugo! Hugo will get into the lead and snipe him at the line with a 50.164. Hugo first, Danny B second, Ringo up third, Magorian fourth, Razi Sky, Tristan, and Shoka in top eight. And yeah, this could potentially be a good uh, point uh, points hot for Hugo, currently sitting in P16. He could get into the top 10 as a result of that particular map. So Hugo looking pretty strong on Pretpal so far. And uh, we're looking to see how he can do in the last two rounds on this map. Meanwhile, it is Danikby who gets the whole shot of CP1 and 2 in front of Sky and Tween. Tween emerging into the lead right now. Oh no, he touches the inside wall. That's the death of Tween right there after a few CPs already. Meanwhile, it is Sky who inherits the lead. Battling it out with Flyer and Danikby. The Czech duo trying to make something of the Germans' lead. Danny B getting into the lead temporarily, albeit. And ooh, that was really close for all the players right there. But now it's Danny B and Pack for first and second. Magorian in third place. We also got Shoka representing France. He's currently in P4 battling it out with Magorian. He's currently trying to hang on to the top three battle right now. Pack in first place. Magorian overtaking Danny B for second. And Danny B getting overtaken potentially by Shoka for third place. Watch out, it's going to be over the line. Magorian Mag Mag potentially getting overtaken. No. Pack first place with a time of 49.948. Pack first, Magorian second. Shoka third. Razi fourth. Fourth, Sky fifth, Danny B Seth, Carl seventh, and Ringoa in top eight. Shen, Portuguese fella. Yeah, I'll do. I will do. Round number eight on round number two of the Century Solo Tech Cup is underway. Let's actually spectate the OG world champion, the OG Carl, 2006 world champion on Track Mania. And currently he has the whole shot after the first CP and he's currently looking really good. He's battling it up with Tween right now, still holding the link versus the Slovakian driver. And we're currently seeing that, uh, ooh, he's touched the inside wall. Ooh, we had a flip from someone. And that was a big F that we, if I've ever seen one. Meanwhile, this Ringoa who holds the lead in front of Sky. Sky battling it up with a French driver, trying to overtake him for the lead. And it's actually see this corner which made so much damage here pack will touch the outside wall that's going to be the death of pack on this round sky and rigo are first and second extra third three on fourth jeps in fifth tween in sixth place sky still holding the lead strong and fast versus Ringo in second place. Ringo potentially getting overtaken by Tristan. Tristan coming in thick and fast. And he's getting overtaken. Ringo by second place. Watch out. And Tween also getting in the mix. Tween will get second. No, Jepsen in the same thousandth. Sky first, Jepsen, Tween second, third, Tristan fourth, Extra Nero, Razi, and Shive your top eight. In the same thousandth of a second, it is Jepsen who gets the second place in the end and the points that come with it as we are done with Pretpal by Zykos and Solia. And we head on to map number three, which is going to be, I think it's not the duo map this time around. I think it is Cosmicro. No, Cosmicro is the final one. We are getting onto, onto Aftermath. Aftermath, there we go. Aftermath by... Never mind and beats. The local record here is held by Tween with a 49.722. Quick score recap after eight rounds. Magorian in the lead with 32.65. Razi second with 3200. Extra three with 3140. He was above, but Tween shown shown with the most points on the result on, on the right. Yeah. Extra third with 3140. Sky fourth with 3136. Pack fifth with 3035. Nero sixth with 29 uh, 29.10. Carl seventh with 28.70. Tristan 8th with 2835, Shoker 9th with 22, uh, 2795, Jepsen 10th with 2785. In the top 20, we have Mixmod, Danik B, Flyer, Ringoa, Ted, Shive, Pic, uh, Tween, Ben, Hugo, and Didik top 30, Las de Coeur, Mist, NRGZ, Avenzis, Ka, uh, Canal, uh, Tonk, Pims, Sidu, Buzi, and Nova, and 31st Scooper, 32 Broly, but only six points behind, only six points ahead of Ludax. So yeah, it could still be a really tight battle here for that top 32 spot and the last place into round number three. As we head towards the end of the warm up right now for most of these players, currently Shocker, uh, having a really good run right here, uh, clocking in at 49.978. Nice time by Shoka from BG News right here. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Round number nine of this particular match about to get underway. Map number three, Aftermath by Beat, underway. And we're going to be spectating 
Uh, let's see, in the top 8, let's actually expect a Tristan here, which we haven't seen much of in this particular, um, in this particular round, although we see that some really good performances by this player. It seems as though it was the OG Carl that stayed on the on the start line right here, so could be a big F already. No, he's actually in the race. I completely forgot about that. He's currently in second place. Shen, meanwhile, in the lead, uh, having the whole shot in the Portuguese fella, as uh, Yekosdo said, and it seems as though he's currently in the thick of the group, currently pack leading the field in front of Tween in second place. Flyer third. Nero getting into the mix as well, battling it out with Tween for second place. Tween still running in second place. Tween trying to catch up to pack. Pack touching the outside and Tween inherits the lead in front of um, Nero Ted and Hugo in third and fourth. Flyer fifth, Shoka sixth, Carl seventh, and Ben in eighth. Currently, it is Tween in first place right now. Nero is way far back. He's two tenths down on Tween. They cannot really win, and thus Tween will score himself an easy round win for this uh, particular round with a 49.985 to start off with. Tween first, Hugo second, Flyer third, Nero fourth, Carl, Ben, Ted, and Rigoa in top eight. Pros will definitely progress further. Yeah, yeah. First matches of competition, not useful to focus on the top players. Yeah, true. Well, I'll try to do my best because there are still some really tight battles at the front that I want to cover. So, bear with me, guys. Meanwhile, we are starting round number 10 on this match. And we are seeing that Extra has gotten himself into top 3 into CP1. Extra still staying into the lead right now. Extra currently sitting at P4, so well safe. Oh, we saw someone getting a huge chef right here, going a little bit too far on the inside. Tween, meanwhile, in the lead in front of Pack and Ted in second and third, Flyer fourth. And uh, yeah, the battle st the field's still changing, evolving, and stuff like that. So yeah. We're seeing, ooh, Pack! That's an effort Pack right there. We've seen Tween and Flyer emer inherit the lead as a result of that. Danik being uh, in hot pursuit as well as Magorian. Magorian trying to battle it out for potentially a lead spot right here. Flyer emerging in head of Tween. Will he be able to be uh, catch, come back up to? No. Flyer will win the round with a 50.078. Tween second, Magorian third, Shocker fourth, Extra Ringo, Danik B, and Ted in top eight. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's actually check in on some people that uh, are a little bit further down the field and could potentially be at risk of losing their places. Currently checking in with the uh, Energy Z, uh, 24 and 2449 points here in 27th spot, and he's less than 100 points away, potentially being sent down uh, into the depths of elimination in this particular round. So we could be seeing uh, potentially some heartbreak for the French camp. But we'll have to see how he goes uh, all around this particular track. Currently sitting in the really thick part of the group right now. Currently in P20, potentially able to overtake some people here. Pack really slowing down. He's currently all over the place. The 2016 World Champion is Danik B, who holds the lead in front of Ringoa, Super Kaluf. And he seems as though Tween is not really where he wants to be right now. He's probably out of the picture of this point anyway. And currently it is looking to be pretty good for Danik B, who still holds the lead in front of Super Kaluf. Oh, we had a huge F from someone. Tween Rimmers is back into the top five. Meanwhile, Energy said is safing his way around the corner to finish in 25th. Danik B first, Magor in second, Tween third, Ringo a fourth, Pack, Shoker, Ted and Ben in top eight. Danik B signing a 49.962. And so Energize will still be in P6, but watch out, look how the gaps have closed. He's still within 100 uh, points of being sent down to the depths of outside top 32, so he will have to be a uh, Pretty, uh, looking pretty sharp right here. And also, yeah, intern Orcs battle, only 50 points of the gap between Vivekin and Lava. Currently spectating with the one currently at a disadvantage here in Lava. Uh, currently sitting in P27 and battling with Las de Coeur, one of his teammates, one of uh, the uh, guys running in the DTM skin, got uh, pretty much an F right there. Meanwhile, pack in front of Yes, front of Yepsen, Super Kaluf, Magorian, Tween, Flyer, Ringo, and Shy. Then we've got um, the, um, the rest of the field. Still uh, rubbing out. Ooh, Lava with a really dodgy line through there. He's going to lose a few braces for sure. He's down in 32nd, and Boomix has got a full stop pick 10 as well. His teammate falling by the wayside, and we see Energize a little bit further up as well that we just spectated. And we're going to see that uh, and Lava will be able to get himself into 29th position as a, as a result of that. Pack winning the round with a 50.005. Magorian second, Flyer third, Sky fourth, Carl Ringua, Hugo, and Shoka in the top eight. As we head into map number three, we are about to be on going on to Road Trippin by Omnipots. Sorry for catching my breath at a little bit of random times here. There we go. Oh, Road Trippin 
by Omnipods. The uh, world record, the local record is held by Carl with a 50.608. So Carl currently sitting in P10 in the overall standings. Quick score recap after 12 rounds. Magorian first with 48.75. Shoker second with 44.50. Extra third with 43.55. Razzy fourth with 43.22. Pack fifth with 42.75. Neuro sixth with 42.67. Tween seven with 42.40. Ringo eighth with 42.35. Danik B ninth with 42.14. And Carl 10th with 42.10. Top 20, Sky, Flyer, Tristan, Ted, Jepsen, Mixmod, Ben, Shive, Las de Coeur, and Hugo 220. And top 30, Beams, Mist, Canal, Tonk, Nova, Energize, Vivic, Broly, Scooper, and Evans. 31st, Boozy, 32nd, In Lava. And uh, yeah, In Lava is currently at threats, even though he's uh, got a little bit of 100 points. He's got 100 points, uh, less than 100 points of advantage between himself and Sidu in second place. Come on, shut up, phone. Should have should have put that on silence. I'm gonna do that right now. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, currently, as Wes said, in lava with 2835 at risk of potentially getting himself outside of the top 32, and Boozy also in the drop zone, potentially. So we could see potentially some heartbreak again for the French camp as uh, we also see a bunch of other people in there. We got Shen for Portugal that could potentially be eliminated. Uh, we also got Ludax, Vol, Fertima, Orcs, Gabe from uh, from, Asian, from Asia apparently. So yeah, JLHF everyone, we're going to be spectating one of the men at risk. Currently, Buzi sitting in 31st position with 2846. Florian, il va falloir faire quelque chose uh, pour pouvoir aller choper ces gros points parce que là, ça va être risqué. Ça va être très 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 risqué face à ces, uh, face à ces gros joueurs. Meanwhile, towards the front, it is Danik B and Hugo de Salva in first and second place, Pack in third place, Magorian in P4, and we got Extra also in the top five battle, Carl, Shoker, and Ran Nero complete the top eight so far. Meanwhile, it is, seems as though we got uh, no big names so far out of the picture. It seems as though, uh, yeah, Hugo, Hugo still battling it out, slugging it out with Danik B and Pack in the top three battle. Let's actually join in here, shall we, because the battle is extremely tense. Danik B, Hugo, Pack, and Magorian as well into the battle, waiting to pounce. And we also got Carl waiting in the wings alongside Ringoa. So they're going to be waiting for anyone in, want to make a mistake on the top group to actually take advantage of that. The landing is pretty much picture perfect. And Danik B will get himself a round win unless Hugo makes something about it. No, Danik B will win the round. Oh no, Hugo! Qu'est-ce que t'as fait? Pas comme ça! Danik B wins with a 50.184. Pack second, Magorian third, Carl fourth, Jepsen, Shai, Ringoa, and Sky in P8. But Hugo, qu'est-ce que t'as fait? Pourquoi ça? <laughs> From 2nd to 44th, yeah, that's a way to lose points, isn't it? Meanwhile, Super Karloof has managed to get back up to P4 as a result of that uh, of those huge scores with a 46 points, 46.60 on 4th place. Then we got Tween also re-emerging into the top 8 with 4,600 points to his credit. Carl currently going really wide, going a little bit conservative compared to most other players, but he still manages to get himself into a top 5 battle right here. Even in P3, extra, that's an F! For the THC player, Extra has made a huge blunder, and uh, yeah, he's pretty much dead in this round. Meanwhile, towards the players that are at risk, we see that Boozy has managed to get back up to 29th after the points he scored on round one. Energize also trying to uh, fight for survival, currently in P30, just behind his teammate Boozy. Whoa, he was forced to release there. That's, uh, that's going to enable his teammate Chive, Zetins, as well as Space Ben. Oh, Ben touching the inside. That's an effort, Ben, since it's a free wheel. And the uh, Shoker will get potentially overtaken by Energize. And no, he will stay in front. But up front, it is going to be Danik B winning with a 50.904. Danik B first, Magorin second for four thousandths of a second, Flyer third, Pack fourth, Super Kaluf, Nikoa, Neuro, and Sky in top eight. And Buzi not having any scored any points, and he's again right in the butter zone, right in the drop zone, ten points only away from being sent down on the elimination bracket. Right now, it's up to Gap for making that to actually make it happen and get himself into the top 32. Gap currently sitting well behind the pack, trying to pick out anybody's mistakes right here. Razi also making a mistake. Buzi is the man he will be get. He will be trying to uh, actually uh, take down as we currently see people falling by the wayside, left, right, and center. Pack in the lead. Danik B second, Ted third, Sky fourth, Flyer fifth, Las de Coeur in eighth place now with Ringo and Neuro. No, oh, Gap will be F. And Pack and Danik B battling it out, fourth, first, and second. Pack in. Um, 
in first place around the 10th in front of Danig B in second place. Sky third, we can go fourth, Flyer fifth, and we got Neuron just behind him, Shive as well. But it seems as though Pac won't be untouchable here on this round, and he will win with ease with a time of 50.852. 50 Danig B second, Sky third, we can go fourth, Flyer fifth, Neuron sixth, Shive seventh, and Extra in eighth. Tween finishing in 44th, that's pretty uncharacteristic of Tween. And yeah, he's falling down P14 as a result of that. Watch out not to get into a stun too much. Otherwise, you'll be able you'll be severely punished. And Busy still fight lives to fight another day thanks to Gate making the mistake. But still, it was not really what uh, what he was expecting, uh, hoping to be. Meanwhile, Energize is steadily climbing up the field with people falling by the wayside over the course of a several few rounds. And he's currently finding himself in P27 overall with 36.69. Nice. So yeah, he's currently looking pretty good to potentially make it through to round number three after all. But uh, nothing is done until it's uh, nothing's over till it's over, and uh, yeah, currently it is looking pretty much is looking uh, pretty good for the French driver. Meanwhile, up front it is Flyer and Danik B in first and second. It seems that the pack is completely out of the picture, and OG Carl is in third place with quite a bit of a gap. And Flyer touches the outside. No, it's Danik B. It ripped for Danik B. Flyer in second, first place will win the round with ease. Carl will get second place Flyer with a time of 50.885. Carl second, Shocker third, then fourth, extra new rotate and Yepsen completed top eight. Thank you, Warl, for the follow, by the way. Really appreciate it. And here we go, we're heading into the final map of round number two, which is going to be Cosby Crow by MG Point. Four rounds left to decide who will be going through to round 30 round three and who will be eliminated. There we go, Cosmic Crow by ND points. Danik B holding the local record with a 45.648. Quick score recap after 16 rounds. McGoran first with 61.65. Neuro second with 58.82. Pack third with 58.60. Danik B fourth with 58.45. Carl fifth with 58.40. Ringo a sixth with 57.35. Flyer seventh with 56.53. Sky eighth with 55.75. Extra ninth with 55.19. And Ted 10th with 54.65. Top 20, Shocker, Raz, Razi, Tristan, Tween, Mixmod, Yepsen, Shive, Ben, Las de Coeur, and Miss. Top 30, Hugo 220, Nova, Pim, Stonk, NRGZ, Canal, Avensis, Scooper, Vivek, and Burley. And meanwhile, Buzzy 31st, and Lava 32nd. And Sidhu could potentially be the one first one to get eliminated, but he's not too far away from in Lava, currently sitting in uh, 42 points adrift from the Orcs Rompuy player. Let's actually see what uh, the Frenchman could potentially do to get himself into the top 32 to continue his journey. Meanwhile, some of the bigger, uh, some, uh, some potentially bigger names than that that are currently looking to be on their way out. We've got uh, we've got Zetins from Team THE looking to be on the uh, on the way out, so over 100 points away from 32nd in Lava right now. Gabe also as well seems as though he will not be able to make any good inroads. Shen as well, Ludax as well. But it's going to be all on Sidhu to potentially uh, pip in lava from his place, but we're gonna be spectating, yeah, we're gonna be spectating him for this particular round. Since you guys wanted to see, um, since you guys wanted to see some of the people that were more at risk, well, we are currently looking at the guy that could be said to be the first eliminated from the tournament as a result of, as a result of round number two here, with Sidhu uh, currently holding himself into the thick of the field so far, holding a 31st position. In the meantime, Pat going a little bit wider than the rest of the field, currently recorded with more speed, and uh, is Asset in here? No, Asset is not in here. Uh, meanwhile, Packy seems as though is a definite death for the English driver from, uh, t uh, from uh, uh, the 2016 world title. Sorry about uh, that little blunder right there. Magorian Flyer for a second. Shocker third. Extra fourth. Sky fifth. Ooh, Sky got dropped out. Rank of Butterfly. And he's completely out of the picture for the top eight positions. Meanwhile, Sidhu will cross the line in P24. And actually battling it out with Pack for P23, P22. But it doesn't matter. Flyer wins with a 45.905. Mongolian second, Shocker third, extra fourth, pit tween fifth, mix mod sixth, Carl seventh, and Yepsen eighth. And Sidhu still trying to make some inroads on um Still trying some inroads on the uh, on the um, on this time Wolf, although, because in Lava managed to secure himself in top 30, and now it's Busy who is at risk. Nine points behind Sidhu and over 30 points behind Currently, uh, Wolf in second, uh, three second, and Busy will potentially, with this mistake, be out of the tournament altogether. Pack making another mistake as well. What's happening with Pack here? It seems as though he does not like this map at all. 
And uh, yeah, he's out of the picture for the top positions. Meanwhile, it is Sky Fly Zenic B Sky Flyer in tween for your top four, along with Carl and Extra. Meanwhile, let's actually check in the perspective of Marek Paka from Slovakia. Tween from Pittsburgh Knights, looking pretty good in this field, currently sitting in P7. Danik B in first, Extra second, Shocker third. Sky with a really aggressive line, potentially trying to overtake Extra for P3. Let's actually hit check. It's going to be Danik B who wins the round with a time of 45.874. Extra second, Shocker third, Sky fourth, Flyer fifth, Tween sixth, Carl seventh, and Jepsen eighth. Let's actually check in on some of the lower scores. Yeah, Buzi is definitely looking out of the picture for now. He's over 300 points behind in Lava in 32nd position. In Lava looks pretty safe. Energized looks also pretty safe in here as long as he doesn't drop the ball here. Let's actually go for um, this uh, particular driver from Team B Genius rocking the public Alpha Tori skin. Also, uh, a skin that actually that was actually one of my that was actually my personal skin by Anto. Shout out to you, my man. And currently, Energize is currently sitting in P38. Oh, we still see some people bumping the walls left, right, and center. And meanwhile, Pack this time is able to make something happen and keep himself into the right uh, into the right butter zone. As we see, Energize with a bit of a slow landing, but uh, yeah, Pack currently uh, battling it out for the lead right round with Hugo de Silva and Flyer in first and second. Pack third, and with much more momentum, we'll make sure to work of both of them. And Pack will win the round in front of Flyer with a time of 45.945. Flyer second, Hugo third, Carl fourth, Extra Shoka Sky and Danik B in at P8. In the top eight, sorry. Meanwhile, let's actually check in on Energize. Energize scored less points than some of these competitors. He's currently finding himself into the butter zone. No, I actually gained places. He's in 25th, so it looks like he is safe. And it seems as though the points are definitely going to be, uh, the places could be staying that way for the bottom places as we head into the final round of the second round of the Solo Tech Tournament. So Carl and uh, um, Carl heading into the field in first place with Shen also joining the fray, trying to make a last stand, a um, a, a good show for for um, show for himself here on this final round. He may not be able to pass on round number three, but he's trying to show what he's capable of in this previous round. It seems as though it was Pack who actually ripped it. It's a rip and then rip for Shen as well. So Danik B in first place, and it's Flyer in second place. Carl in third place. Let's actually see if Carl is able to overtake. No. Flyer will win in front of Shive in terms of um, in terms of uh, Shive will win actually in front of Danik B sorry with a 45.976 Danik B second Sky third Call fourth Razi Tween Ringo and Pack complete the top eight and that is GG ladies and gentlemen for this particular round in the end it is going to be Magorian winning on points in front of Carl and Danik B for your top four and top three sorry and the eliminated people are unfortunately Sidu Ludax Buzi Flex Shen Toasty Gap TQRZ Kama, and so on. I didn't. I didn't have time to check all the people. So really sorry, Yakozda. I did all I can. So yeah, all the scores have been reinitialized. So I didn't get the time to uh, check every single score that there was to check. So yeah, I did my best. <laughs>